Happy Wednesday. It's your E-Pastor Aaron here with Sunday's Recap. Listen, Pastor T has been hitting the mark with this wonderful self-care series that God gave him when the world that we know it began to fall apart. I mean, suffering, fear, and depression is taking over our atmosphere, even in the church. Yes, yes, yes. Even the body of Christ is suffering. But this past Sunday, Pastor T encouraged us all that even during this time, there is victory. If we just set our minds back to what God has promised us, it will change our view so that the mission is crystal clear and we can look again. In the book of Joshua, chapter 6, verses 1 through 5, we find Joshua receiving instruction from God that must be followed in order to gain possession and ownership of the promised land. Just for a little backstory, let's remember that the Israelites wandered the wilderness for over 40 years before this moment of instruction. So they were a little weary. I mean, they just couldn't see it. The walls were too large. They heard God, yes. They know God's word to be true, yes. But they just couldn't see how they were going to be able to make it. Oh, but faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So although circumstance presented itself unfavorable, Joshua, Joshua knew that they were a chosen generation who would go in to possess their promised land. But to go just a little bit further, if we focus on verse two, God clearly states, see, I have given Jericho into your hand. But listen, saints, God, he said that before giving Joshua the instruction on how to conquer the land. And actually, he said that before, before Joshua and the Israelites even made their first move. So in that moment, God let Joshua see before Joshua actually saw. Keeping God's promise in my mind is where I want my faith to always be rooted. Because what God says is yours, is yours. So how do we work the word this Wednesday? First things first, let's begin to change our complaints into praise. Newsflash, troubles really don't last always. Think on being alive, no matter the circumstance or the condition. And that right there should get you praising all day. But secondly, stay encouraged by the fact that God is not through blessing you. You might just have to will your way and some days possibly force your foot to even make the first step. But hey, whether you like to move or not, each step is bringing you closer to his promise. All right, to wrap this all up in the most practical way possible, follow this message. In order for him to let us be great, we have to level up on our faith, keeping our hope alive, seeing as though we were never built to break. And it is all because of the power of love that we are even allotted this grand opportunity to mature in faith and get the chance to look again. God bless.